their time by Nazca. This was a daily demon, but the time has passed, and I just didn't get to it afterwards. So, practice front first, and then we're gonna do the demon. Demon is pretty easy, a couple tricky timings, nothing too bad. Go straight into practice run. So the beginning's pretty easy, it's just some normal fun. Like it goes straight to music. And when you get to these, this is a triple spike. When you get to these three orbs, you want to find the key to the first one. Pretty easy. Just fall down. There's the key to the first one. Like I said, this goes to music. There are some little times like that for row apart, but it's not too hard. This one. This jump's probably the hardest jump because you gotta light tap, light tap into this portal. And you have to get ready for this green orb right here. Hit this orb, jump late for the coin, and then you're onto the drop. Now the drop, you're gonna enter a rocket part, but you don't want to hold up to the hit the ceiling. Reason being, if you try to hold, if you try to hit the green orb that's coming up at when you're not holding up, you won't make it. So right, right there, I mean, I can try to hit it, but if you're just gonna hit this bottom spike right here. Or if you don't hit the ceiling at all, you're going to hit this spike right here. So what you want to do, you want to hit the ceiling, hold it to you like right about here. That's still in the reach of the green orb um, green orb thing. Like, I can't think of it. Like, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh well. And then it'll send you right down to here. Then you want to hit this automatically. And it'll send you all the way to the ballpark. If you don't make it, if you're a little too short, that's okay. It's kind of inconsistent on this orb, but you do have to hit this orb early. Hit it back twice. Oops, back a few times. Ceiling. Now for this orb, you want to hit this orb early. I mean, if you hit a like a smidgen late, you're gonna hit this corner. So as soon as you enter the into the UFO, you want to wait a little bit and go one, two, three, one, two. Back it up a little bit after. That's too far. Once you hit this portal, one, two, and then you want to jump into the wave portal. If you don't, you're going to crash automatically, so you want to jump up and hold it until you get to right about here and then fall down. Now, these green orbs, they, they go to the symbols. Like, there's little tiny symbols going in the background. They go to the symbols. I find that quite nice. Like, it's a really nice touch by uh, Nasco. So, really nice touch there. Yeah, you can't hit those blue orbs. Just a fair warning. Here, you want to string yourself out a little bit. Try to pull up as soon as you just go onto this saw. Because you're going to go into this... Into this with a nice transition now in order to do this part you can do this part two ways you can hit this twice to go into this portal and then hit this four times going down or if you hit the green orbs early like really early you can hit this you can jump once into this portal the physics little portal will carry you upside down then you can hit it four times I prefer going the second route because it's a lot easier for me so, pull up here And then make sure you hit that blue orb. It's kind of touchy touchy. If you hit it, if you don't jump into the portal, you can get the, you can get to the orb. If you jump into the portal, you can get to the orb. If you don't jump into it, you're gonna miss it. And if you do it wrong, you're gonna end up like right here in front of it. So I, I would suggest jumping into the portal. If not, do what I do and do it and get it right right where you need to be. Now this one, it's a good transition. It it gives you. NASGUB gave you, no, oh, I can't speak, NASGUB gave you a bounce pad, so it hits send you on this platform. You need to jump up and then down to this platform, because if you try to jump into the portal, you're going to end like right here. So you need to hit this platform right here, it's going to roll you into this platform, into this little spike portal. And then it's like a little two tap, and then it's hit these two orbs automatically. So back it up. Um, that was a random thing, but you hit the orbs and you jump twice into this portal, straight fly a little bit, then you jump up for the second coin. So, let's do that again. See that key right there? You have to jump for it. I always get caught up with this because I always will turn myself up onto a 
platform. I almost missed the gate too. As soon as you get here, like to this UFO part, you're done with the level. Like, this is really easy afterwards. So you jump twice into the portal, jump and then jump twice down to hit the green orb. This is gonna bounce you up itself your itself so you don't have to worry about jumping to the blue orb. And then hit the blue orb, it's gonna be upside down. Don't worry, the wave part's pretty simple, it's just tap twice. So Back there. There we go. One, two. Oh shoot. Okay, so f for that, for the coin, you're not supposed to hit that green orb. So I'm gonna go down, up, down. Hit your head on the, on the block there, and you got the coin. Now for this UFO part. It's pretty lenient with the transition. That's sure the transition comes fast, but you have to hit the UFO late anyhow. So it's given the fact the transition takes time, it's good that you have to hit the UFO late anyhow. So hit, you hit the green orb early, hit the yellow orb late, 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 late. Now for this rocket part, you can't just like swoop straight down here you're gonna hit a spike that's like right here you want to tap it slightly and then go up like this and that's gonna be like a major drop and uh, not a major drop that's gonna be jumping to you UFO portal upside down and then I can lead you up from there so let's hit this tap Boom. tap there go through it and for this one, same as like the one with the wave, you want to go one, two, three, one, two, and then it's a drop down to the end of the level. Whoops. Wrong button. Wrong button. <laughs> Alright, so there's going to be a bounce pad at the end of this. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. There are a lot of tiny jumps to the robot. Just the heads up. These are all late timings. You don't want to hit too earlier. That'll happen. You want to do a full jump there from this platform to here for for the coin. That's just pretty easy coin right there. You can't jump up here like this if you want to, but it's better to go down. Than jump. Pretty. This one's a little tricky, you want to hold your head down there. Jump all the way up, there's the coin. Late jumps, like the other UFO parts in the slow part, and then you're done with the level. Again, a really simple level, but it does have timings, tricky timings, but it's really fun gameplay. And I mean really fun gameplay. Okay, before I start, I want to talk about this level. This level... I don't know. I'm on the verge of recommending it, whether or not to play it. To play it, yes, it has good gameplay, fun gameplay, and that's about it. The problem I have with this is some of the times. The UFO timings, uh, late, 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 late timings, I don't really like that. I also don't like how inconsistently the spikes are placed in the UFO timings. That being said, the green orb timings are also pain in the ass. Well, we have some consistent ones in the beginning and I think the end too, and then the inconsistent ones come in during the first ball part of the drop, and the the three green orbs at the ro at the cube part at 35%. You either hit them on hit them where they need to be, or you hit them early and hit the blue orbs. It even goes to the fact that you're like right on the green orb and you still hit a blue orb. That's how bad that is. Just the things I hate about that lit level. Other than that, I honestly would recommend some. This level, pretty fun level. It's got good gameplay in it. Now the blue orbs weren't there, and the, and the spike placement was a little better in the UFO part. Then maybe it would be a lot better, but at the moment, uh, I would say it's still a good easy demon, and I still like it. 
not love it, but I just like it. I've seen better, to be honest with you. Here we go again. No, Grayson, get out of my face. Are you serious? A little timing like that? Go. Go, Grayson. Just put it. Three speed rocket right there. See, as soon as I pass that part, it's done. Like, that's just dumb. I died to a tiny dumb. <laughs> like, that's just dumb. <laughs> what? That was too high. What? I hit that! I know for a fact I hit that! What? Yes! Yes! It's finally done! <sighs> it's finally done. Alright, so... 624... Okay... Now we're gonna do something a little different here with the attempts. We go out of here. There are a couple things you need to check. You need to check here. 190. Living out of confirmed. Still 624 plus 193. We also need to go here. Don't get me wrong. I spent about at least 30 attempts. Yeah, most of this was to test. Uh, we know. Wait, wait, wait. Double check. Yeah, most of this was to test the beginning. We also tested it to see how far I could get. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, right here. I used airtime at the beginning of this. This is where I got like 20 to 30 attempts of it. So, say uh, exit 
Yes. So, let's see. Saved. Seven attempts total. Whoa, 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 caps lock, hello. Is our 100th saved level. Boy, oh boy. Um, I don't normally do uh, what my next DM might be, but if anything, for my 100. Well, oh, hang on. What DM am I on right now? Okay. For for my 70th DM, and I'm feeling like doing. I think I'll um, it's not something I've already started on. Something that I haven't necessarily done, but I really want to do. So let's go back. Something like Day's Journey, or uh, Catacomb, or... Like, for instance, I will not do something like... Uh, not full drop. It's gotta be somewhere. I've already done Speed Racer. I have to re it. Somewhere on this page. It has to be like way back though. Iceland, no. Underfunk, no. Here it is. Lunar Interaction. This is a very easy memory demon, so it's more of a medium. But I'm not going to show that off since that's relative, since I relatively know it. I want to do something that I don't necessarily know and is not part of the map pack. Because restricted area is part of the map packs, so I'm not gonna do that. I'll have to think of something. But I do want to do for my hundredth theme and or seven actually my seventieth theme because I'm not even my hundredth yet. My seventieth demon needs to be one of the Sethic Elves de memory demons. Because he was the king of memory back in the day. This is called Dead Mouse Step. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. If it's fun to me and I can easily understand it, I'll 